In this video, you are going to see how to render an interior Lumion scene at noontime sunlight. Hello guys, welcome back to Desire School channel. My name is Mehdi and this is another episode of Lumion lighting series. In this series of videos, we will show you basics of lighting in Lumion. These series have two parts. The first part is about natural light and second part is about artificial light. If you want to have realistic lights in your Lumion renders, don't miss these tutorials. This episode is about noontime sunlight. A scene which is affected at noontime by direct sunlight is lighter than any time in the day. Colors and lights look warm and shadows appear with sharp angles. Ok guys, let's start the video. In this video as you know, I want to show you rendering a room at noontime. But before starting the process of render, it's better to take a look at this room that affected by noontime sunlight. As you see the light has a warm color at this time. This light is brighter than any light which comes from sky. Another thing that you have to consider are shadows. Shadows in these scenes are not very dark and the border between shadows and lights is very sharp. Ok let's run the Lumio. Add a stereo from effect and reduce diffusion. As you see everything in the scene have a white color. Now we can see lights and shadows better. Ok here add real sky effect in your scene. In this menu click on a sky image and in the new window go to the clear tab and choose one of these skies for your render. You can play with heading slider to change the position of sky. Now add a sky light effect. This effect create a nice ambient light from sky. In this effect menu Set the render quality to ultra and increase brightness amount. As you can see, now we have a skylight in the room. Now I prefer to add hyper light effect to the scene and increase its amount a little bit more. After that I want to add shadow effect into the scene. After adding this effect, you have to play with brightness, omni shadow and interior and exterior slider to achieve the best settings for shadows in the scene. Interior and exterior is an option to control how lights and shadows appear in the room. And also active these two options, fine little shadows and soft shadows to have a good result. As you can see we have more obvious shadows and more warm color here. Let's head back to the main menu and deactivate stereo form effect to see the result with material. The next effect is reflection. Add this effect to the scene and active a speed ray option. After that choose edit reflection plane and choose surfaces that they need accurate reflection. Here I think we need more brighter scene. So add exposure effect to that and increase its amount to achieve the best result. You can see the changes here. Ok here add color correction effect and increase temperature, brightness and contrast slider. It is noon time and we need more warm color here. The next effect is sharpen. You can find it in the artistic one tab. This effect makes details of render sharper and more obvious but use it in the low amount. Here I prefer to add vignette effect to create a dark ring around the scene and also add the depth of the field to adjust the camera setting. Ok this is my final result and I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any question about Lumion please leave a comment. Thank you and bye for now.